Hey yo everyone, it's me, Kohei. Let's move on. We got the Snowcraft, so let us go and get to the Goddess's Bell so we can unlock the uh, keep when we get there. I cheated a little bit because I didn't want to run all the way to the keep and find out that I don't have the Goddess's Bell. Actually, if I remember, uh, I think I remember if you talk to someone in the first town, Altair, there's a dude that actually talks to you about it. Also, this is the Snowcraft. Isn't it pretty? It's a sled with a uh, sail, pretty much. <laughs> they just took the airship design and put put uh, thingies on the bottom. I don't know what those are called, actually. Hmm. I actually don't know what the thing on the, the bottom of a, a snowmobile is called. Like, are they just skis? Like, because you ski on the, the snow, like normally. Who knows? Too much thought into this. It's uh, also pretty far. I'm trying to find it. It's like all the way to the right, remember? Here it is. The snow cavern. Huh, deadheads. It's a weird name. Well, being snow and the fact that these are undead, I should just be at least fire, right? That's neat. Make sure you heal up. Hey, 300 gil. Oh, my phone. Hold on. Okay. I saw that thing on the wall and I was like, that's not an entrance, is it? I don't think it is. Confused me for a second there. I think that's a dead end room. Most rooms that they put in these games are just dead ends. So I always have to debate on whether they are or aren't. Did I just go somewhere? Where did I just go? Yeah, okay, technically. I was like, technically there's no no way after that. Hey, there's a chest. Probably a dead end over here. Hmm. Running into grenades now. Arctic wind does ice damage, doesn't it? Yeah, just cast blizzard. That's neat. But you can always just, I don't know, get the tome and then actually just use it yourself. I think the only game that I would say that they really actually put more emphasis on item using was technically Final Fantasy 13. 9 and 10. Sorry, it was 10 because you had the mix mechanic. 13, it wasn't really that much of a big deal. Like, potions healed your whole party. That was neat. But then you could always just paradigm switch into uh, other things, you know? Into a healer. I can't remember what they actually called it in that one. Is there Sentinel? Ravenger? Medic. It was Medic. I was like, I swear I remember this because like mostly near the end of the game you would need a Medic 
in a lot of your uh, different paradigm shifts. The game I'm not looking forward to playing though is Final Fantasy XII because it's just so boring. I hate it. Like it's just like boring. It's like the most boring game that Final Fantasy ever created. I was a little sad when they made it. The only good thing that they made out of it was they put Bunny Girl, Bunny Girl in there. But then there was the Moogle issue that I had with my head because I was like, well, technically there's uh, a. I think Final Fantasy Tactics had bunnies, but they were Moogles, so it confused me a lot. But she didn't have the thing on the top of her head, so I guess that's that's good. Another game I'm looking into playing is probably Last Remnant. I have it on PC, so I don't know. That'll probably get the PS4 version, which is technically the PS3 version. I think. I don't know. I haven't. I haven't bought it yet, so I went now. Mm hmm. <laughs> Hmm, let's see. Oh, there's a chest right here. Make sure to heal every now and then. Blizzard Town, don't really need that. Right, I guess I could give it to, you know what? Yeah, why not? Hey, Joseph, you want a Blizzard? Here you go. Doesn't matter, but I was like, screw it. There's no real reason to have it. Oh, Mythical Spear, that's pretty cool. That's probably a dead end room, let's not go in there. I can taste the end of this area eventually, right? I hate that I'm getting all this mythical stuff after I already bought it. Because now I have to sell it. Well, I guess I could keep it. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just keep it. Why not? I have to remember if there's anything in this room. I think there is actually. Uh, we'll check in a second. Let's see what's on this side. Because I think this is a dead end if I remember. Hey, there's a chest though. Ancient sword. Oh, heck yeah. Actually, oh, no, she doesn't have a Suna. Hmm. Eye drops? Does eye drops work? Okay, it's eye drops. Right, they don't call blindness, they call darkness instead. Which is still about the same height. If you're blind, you, you only see darkness, right? I don't know. I'm not blind, so I, I, I can't even say. Ancient sword. Oh, wow, that did... That went up that much? Jeez. Well, it's a good thing I checked that way before I went over here. Oh, what? It's like Kate Sith people. They're beavers? Right, I forgot they're beavers. Well, I can't even talk to any of them. Guy speak beaver. What? Oh, oh, okay, guy, if you want to talk to the beaver. Uh, Dreadnought? Airship? Sunfire? 
Death roll? Lob Rose? I was like, <laughs> if it answers to the Lob Rose, I'd be like, wait, the beavers are part of the rebellion? Like, it's it's the beaver faction in the rebellion? I'm, I'd be so happy if they put that into a game like that. Granted, they already have a guy talking beavers, so, I, you know. Okay, so the beaver says that there's a little secret entrance on one of the sides of the wall. Oh, here it is. I was like, I remember it was up here somewhere. Oh, that's the ending over there, so let's just keep going. We're almost there. I wonder... No, actually, I don't think it's possible, is it? Huh. I just got a silver circus. Um... Yeah, why well, well, not? You can have some mithril armor. He's guarding the bell. We have to kill him now. I already know he's pretty strong to almost everything. Oh, wait. Do I want to use MP for her? She already has 69 exact. Oh, well. Oh, I forgot she was still on the thing. Yay! Give me that bell. You tamed the goddess's bell! Well, wow, that's pretty cool. And it takes, I forgot, okay, so I was like, I remember there's a thing on the bottom of the wall. So it was something, okay. I'm not losing my mind here. Well, let's just walk out. Oh, hey, it's that pirate dude. Burgundy or whatever his name is. <laughs> Actually, I think that's a color, if I remember. Borgen, that's it. I missed. That's not good. No, oh, he's actually pretty weak. Okay, well that's good. <laughs> oh, he's still alive. This is why you double tap people, you know? Make sure they're dead before you walk off. I hate his laugh. Well, oh. Like seriously, he's holding a giant boulder with his bare hands. I'm surprised he's alive. Well, that kind of sucks. He's now dead. Well, on the bright side, we got the uh, the goddess ring, or the goddess bell.
too bad that uh, we had to sacrifice someone on the way out. So, now that we're done with that, we can actually head back to uh, go to the actual keep. Or, for a little side thing, you can also go back to town and tell Nellie that her daddy died. Which is pretty fuck messed up, but... We're gonna do that anyway, why not? Just to see what she says, because I think she's just like, what the... Are you serious? Like, the one time he's like, you know what? I'm sorry for not helping you guys when this happened. I'm going to help you this time. What, what could go wrong, you know? Everything? Oh uh, yeah, everything. Seems about right. Also, I think the chick that's outside, yeah, she, she went indoors. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Okay. Well, let's uh let's head to the keep. We're going to take a flight this time. It's actually a lot faster too. So, uh next time we will head over back to Poft and talk to Sid. See you then.